Hello Lilas, welcome back to my channel. Guys, if you're new to this channel, go ahead and smash that subscribe button, click the bell to be a part of the notification squad. Today I am, well, not just today, but over the course of the next few videos, I'm kind of comparing babies, um, similar skin tones or similar or size differences, just things that I, you know, be curious about when I watch people channels or their babies. So um, just because Sometime when you take a photo in different lightings, the baby colors change so much, um, especially if they're painted with a lot of undertones. It's so easy for them to pick up different colors. So I just wanted to show um, what Zuri skin tone looked like next to Jersey. Um, let me first introduce, introduce Jersey to you guys. If you are new and you have not been following me, Jersey is my pickle. Um, his artist is Asha from Pickles and Tea Captives Hearts um, on YouTube, I believe. And um, she is an amazingly sweet person. And um, I got Jersey from her. And then I got... Um, Oh, and Jersey is the Jude by Oga R. Sculpt, sorry. And I, so he is Jude. He's so cute. <laughs> and um, I love him, love, love him. And then uh, Zuri is the Tink by Bonnie Brown. And she was painted by Belira Baby. Um, and so... I just wanted to show the difference in their skin tones. I think, if you guys remember my Kenya, I think Zuri is closer to Kenya color skin tone um, than uh, Jersey. But just wanted to show, it's so many different levels to painting black babies. Um, it's different skin tones, different undertones that we have, our babies have, you know. So it, it gives you like a large variety. And I'm not saying that other babies don't have these things but I, I think we have the widest range um to paint from like I can go just a tad bit lighter a tad bit dark you know and it I mean like I said it varies all the babies can carry all different colors and different markings etc etc but just wanted to show these two um just so you guys can see I know like when I did the video like where I was recording her and I was sitting on the floor the first night she got here and she was in the basket, she looked a little bit more chocolatey than she is. She's actually more of a, she's a black girl, like black, black, you know, like not the brown girl, if that makes sense. Um, and and I, I know people like tiptoe on saying black like oh don't say black like it's the some something bad and black is beautiful and um so i love i love 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 this and 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 i i give credit to these artists because um <clears throat> although sometimes i feel like they don't carry as much like motlin and you know veining and all that great jazz um some artists do uh, still incorporate that in their darker babies but for the most part it's more of a shading technique and you know some undertones and stuff but it's more of a shading technique um and it, it's it seems easy but it's not and getting that right realistic color is not easy um so I always give credit to these artists and that is something that is why I by my dark skin babies um because i try but i don't know that i like i especially like zuri color i think i could probably get closer to jersey color than i could zuri color but even with both i'm just it's just not my strong suit right now um every now and then i i look up and it's like okay i'm gonna keep this one um so yeah so um, I am definitely very, very okay with saying that these artists do an amazing job. Um, I love both of their work. Um, you know, one is more affordable than uh, the other. And, but they're both very nice babies. And so, I'm, I'm very equally 
grateful that I was allowed to adopt them both. Um, it, For me, unlike what people might think, price and name means absolutely nothing to me. Only time price means something to me is when I can't afford it. <laughs> then it's like, I wish the price was different. But um, it doesn't, to me, it doesn't, it's not a, 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 um, a flag of, oh yeah, this means it's quality. Like, I've had some babies that I spent top dollar for that I did not like the paintwork. Or I've sent, spent babies for, like, like way cheap. And I've been like, okay, she's cheating herself. You know what I mean? Like, I'm like, wow. Like, you know, I feel like I hit the jackpot type thing. So it doesn't, for me, and I know a lot of people, oh, you get what you pay for. And it, it does... A lot of times it does kind of work out there that way unfortunately if we be honest um, somewhere they're cutting corners or it's lacking in some type of quality sometime a lot of times but there are times where there are artists out here that's really doing that thing and some artists don't like need the money need the money as income and they do it more as a hobby and it just makes a difference um, but who am I to say what a person should be charging or what they should not be charging you know all I can do is focus on what I charge and what I'm doing and you know like I said everybody have an opinion people may say oh my work is high quality high end some people may say it's garbage it's trash you know she ain't worth what she's charging you know it everybody's gonna have an opinion and then here's the thing somebody may get five babies from me and three out of that five might be bomb might be everything like gorgeous amazing detailed just right and the other two might be like blah you know so here's what happens in the community i get a baby i don't like it i don't i don't think she's all that this this one just didn't do it for me the next customer get a baby then i get a baby from the next person get a baby from the same artists and they're like man this this work is amazing i've never seen a baby so flawless this is just blah 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 you know and then you're like she's lying because my baby is garbage and then but then you meet up with this person and you're like oh my gosh her work is all that i actually literally had that happen to me i won't say who and where but I had someone meet with me before and we had babies from the same artist and they told me straight up, they said, I thought you were lying about how nice your babies were from this artist because the work that they gave me was subpar. And I was like, really? Now, and they were like, wow, they did such a great job on your babies. So sometimes it just works out that way. Um, years, years ago, and this is why I don't recommend people a lot of times too. Years, years ago, I recommended like this artist because the work was good when I got it for the price. And then a whole bunch of people bought it. And then they came. Then next thing you know, I was getting these nasty emails like, you lied, you're da 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 da, or she only do your babies good. And all this. I'm like, oh my gosh. So. Keep in mind when you're buying these babies that they are handmade. There's a lot go into it, a lot of emotion. It depends on where the artist is and their mindset, their skill set at the time when they painted. You got a baby two years ago or five years ago or, you know, yesterday. And today something changed and sparked into them. Or you were agitating the artist or the artist was going through a hard time or you know in a rough spot or having painters block and then this time she was in a great mood and she's just loving it and she loved the sculpt more and blah 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 it just all that stuff depends and because it's handmade and not just a factory running through and they all the same you never know what you're going to get period that's from nobody that's include myself you never know what you're going to get you never know so when you look at a baby look at it openly now some people are more consistent than others like it might not be your their best work but it's still better than most or it's still very nice or you love their work overall but there's some babies that you love more than others 
yeah, you can take that in consideration. You also, when you're taking advice from different people, and I've said this for years and years, sometimes you want to look at their collection. If their collection look like, um, and I'm not talking down on anybody, but I'm just saying, if their collection look like a family dollar special and they're giving you advice on what to buy and what not to buy and you're looking for something more high end, keep in mind what they chose for themselves. If that's their taste and your taste doesn't match up with theirs, then you probably don't want to take their advice. So there is, you know, consider the resource. Look at the history. You know, look at stuff with your own eyes. Don't second guess yourself. If you feel it, that's it. If you don't, it's not. Don't be forcing it. Maybe if I put this on it. Maybe if I do that. Maybe if I do this. No, don't do that. Don't do, don't do that. <laughs> okay. All right. So that's my advice for today. And I'm going to move on. I think up next, maybe I will do Zora and Memphis. And um, I'm trying to do, if I have two of the same artists work, I will do like my work mostly. I, I don't really necessarily always like to compare other artists work, but it's okay. Um, I'm not going to compare them or critique them or anything. I'm just showing the difference in uh, like sizes or stuff like that. Um, so I think the last ones that I will do is um, Zora and Memphis. I don't think I will do anyone else just yet, but I may later bring Grumpy on with Vegas, maybe. I don't know. Or Grumpy in the winter. We'll see. We'll see. I may do my silicones in a little bit or line them up just to show the difference in the skin, the skin tones um, before Grumpy leave. Grumpy is old, but she's on a short layaway. So before she goes, maybe I'll do a comparison with her. Um, but that's it. All right. So let's let's move on. All right. Let me know if you guys are enjoying the little short comparison videos type like this. OK. All right. Thank you. Bye bye. Oh, I said bye-bye, like we hanging up the phone. Girl, I'll call you later. <laughs>